We're entering into the last two weeks of unofficial summer. And as we all know, after that last forest bathing and Labor Day barbecue, it's all downhill. But if you're like me and haven't managed to pack in your share of summer fun just yet and are still looking for suggestions, have we got the guys for you. Joined by Larry Watson. Larry's professor at the Berkeley College of Music. Hey, Larry. Look How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. you look great, too. Jared Bowen, WGBH <laughs> Executive Arts Center. He does. And host of Open Studio. Good to see you both. Now, we're going to go for quality, not quantity. Can you deal with that? I'm going to pick, sure you can. I'm going to pick a kind of thing, and then you're going to tell me what's at the top of your list. You look anxious about this, are you? I'm never anxious. Okay, fine. Let's start in the museum world, Jared Bone. Where should we go? Well, I think we should continue on the theme of forest bathing. And so okay. if you go to the decor of a sculpture park and museum, oh. uh, you go out there. It's this beautiful uh, campus in Lincoln. You can walk around. You can see the outdoor sculpture. But I also and really enjoy nature. This is why it was founded, for the immersion of mm -hmm. art in nature. And then you can go inside if it's going to be a rainy weekend like it might be and you can see expanding abstraction which is a really really fantastic show that looks at abstract art from the 1950s to the present you always think of Willem de Kooning, Jackson Pollock, Mark Rothko oh. but they look at the women artists who were these amazing abstract painters but never got their due until this exhibition. I'd do that. Would you do that? I would do that. Not really. Okay. Now let's. I mean, I can tell in your voice. Now let's assume I'm. You in a know mood so much about me. To be with a lot of people, which I'm generally not, by the yeah. way. Let's assume I'm in a parade kind of mood. Is there? There are. Well, parades. the the Great Caribbean Carnival right. is going on in Boston. It goes on every year, and it's food, and it's drama, and it's music, and it's people, and it's in Dorchester, and it's right next to our great resource, Franklin Park. So I think that might be an exciting thing to do. Do you do that at every the end year? of August? I do it. When I'm in town, and most of the time I've done it, and I, I live in that area, so now I can easily walk to the parade and block my car and so other people can't park in front of my house. <laughs> <laughs> does that have? Does that do it for you? Have Sorry you about there? that, Larry. I was the one who parked in his house over here going to the parade. <laughs> so, okay, let's forget that. So, how about stage kind of thing? And by the way, a stage I, in summer, you're sort of into, I, at least I am, into a musical kind of mode, yes? Well, I think we all need to be right now, and I have the perfect escape. Which Young is? Frankenstein at oh, North yeah, Shore Music Theater just opened last night. I was there. This is a really, really fun show. Of course, it's based on the 1974 Mel Brooks movie. Genius. He wrote the music. He wrote the lyrics he co-wrote the book and it's 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 all your favorite characters dr frankenstein or frankenstein <laughs> igor igor frau blucher and in that setting circle in the round theater at north shore you just feel like you're part of the villagers who are very upset that the dr frankenstein is creating the creature in their backyard you know we discussed this today on the radio and i have to say if i had said to you like 30 years ago you're going to laugh when you hear a song called Springtime for Hitler. <laughs> oh, See, exactly. God. I mean, you'd say, are you Kit Mel Brooks, of course, and oh, the producer yeah. is absolute genius. I love. You ever seen that play? you seen the movie? Yes, I've seen the movie. I and saw Mel Brooks too. and his wife, were, I was very fond of their work. And Bancroft. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Gradual. Okay, uh, how about, let's do, well, you're the music guy. Let's get into the music world. What's out? I know a lot of stuff well, is out there. What's at the top of the One of, of my uh, voice students that I've worked with since he was 15 years old, and I took him to meet Barry Gordy, and he shook Barry Gordy's hand. We have the historical picture. Motown, for those His who name don't, Mr. Motown. Barry, Motown. Yeah. His name is Desmond Scaife Jr., and he's now playing the restaurants, Mascros, which is uh, down by the new pier. And he's uh, there on Sunday nights, and he and people should check their listings because there's live music. Desmond Scaife Jr. and he's also at the Boston Park Plaza Hotel, so that's exciting live music. You also have a lot of wonderful music um, at Slade's in Roxbury, and they have a great schedule, and even fried chicken. Even fried chicken. Yes, you know. So those two places, these are places that usually don't get the publicity that they deserve. But particularly the latter, uh, looking at Slade's uh, and, and Sonny Walker's is another place in Roxbury where there's always, I mean real authentic live music, not no music foolishness. <laughs> I mean people who can really flat-footed sing. You know flat-footed singing is a... A certain kind of singing, yeah. Well, you know, it's funny you say that because I'm a stay-at-home kind of person. I know you two are like out in the world kind of carousing kind of home. things. Now, if you stay at home, speaking of music, you probably never heard of this guy, even though you think you know a lot about music. Here's the kind of thing I would listen to. Can you just play that for a second? We're taking over. We have the truth. This is the mission to see it through. Don't point your finger. Not dangerous. 
This is uh, how good is that? By the way? I think it's pretty damn good, and I'm giving you a gift. And I'm giving you a gift. Here and it is. It it's right. it's a CD. some of the masterful musicians around Boston. People like Pat Loomis, great sax player, and young musicians that are up and coming. When we get very disillusioned with what's happening on the music scene, this piece is called Prescriptions, and it will take care of all of those symptoms that we're having because of the electronic and print media today That's and what's, what's happening in the news. Prescriptions, baby. Do either of you stay home and watch television? Yeah. Or I was just say to Larry, you do know that Jim expects you to come and sing to him at his house. <laughs> the CD's not good. <laughs> By the way, I would do that in like two Any seconds. Time. Do you guys watch TV at all or do you not? I watch TV, but I got rid of my cable box. No more of that. Oh. So I bought the antenna. Okay, so is there anything great you're watching this summer if people want to stay at home? Because I have two. Yeah, I just started watching The Young Pope on HBO. Jude Law, Diane Keaton. It's fantastic. Can I add two to the list? Yes. Ozark, which is sort of like, it's a sort of a Breaking Bad light with Jason Bateman and it is, and one of my favorite actresses, uh, Laura Lenny, who is just brilliant kind of thing. You're not persuaded. Broadchurch, a British thriller, murder thriller kind of thing. Doesn't do much for you. Okay, I'm loving that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, uh, give me one more thing that's going to knock somebody's socks off. I would say you, you want to be outside. So mm -hmm. Landmarks, Landmarks Orchestra, uh, next Saturday, or next Wednesday, what am mm -hmm. I saying? You can uh, see Music to Move By. Ryan Edwards is this great percussionist in Boston. He's worked with a group of kids. Uh, he's done great installations around Boston. You can see that performance. They're also doing Copeland's Rodeo. Mm. It's one of your last chances to get out on the hat shell, have the Charles River to the, your left, the beautiful sun setting, and, or I guess, wait, where's the sun setting? I don't <laughs> know my geography. But you see the beautiful sky line to your right it's gorgeous you well, except to, on monday when it's a you solar have clip. to so go I, to the best restaurant where? to eat in dorchester cesarius which is cape verdean food it is absolutely astounding you'll have a wonderful evening i'm telling it to you it's my best kept secret oh. i only take the most special people there oh. but i'm telling you and your listeners that they're special and your what people watching the show you should go to cesarius on bowden street in Dorchester for music, live Cape Verde music, incredible food, wonderful people waiting on you, and a wonderful atmosphere. Can I tell you something, Larry? I would love to go. Unfortunately, I'll be busy listening to Prescriptions Gee. by uh, Lawrence Larry Watson. Larry, it's great to see you. Nice to always Thanks see you. Thanks so much. You. Enjoy the rest Take of the summer, care. Jared. You as well. It's great to see as you. Always.